Well, tonight definitely will be clearing conditions, but warmer weather on the way to the Contra Valley. But Easter Sunday is looking great. Let's dive right into it with our weather headlines. Well, warmer today with temperatures in the upper 80s. That pans out the rest of today as we go into the rest of your late evening. And guess what? The forecast for the weekend is going to be a hot one with temperatures getting into the 90s. Dry weather throughout most of it. But we're watching our next system to see if we can get some showers and storms across the area. Now, earlier today, not seeing a lot of action across Texas. And now, right now, temperatures for most of it is in the 70s and 60s, like 63 in Waco, seeing 74 in San Antonio, 69 in Houston, 62 in Wichita Falls, 63 in Amarillo. All of us are starting to come down, get a little radiational cooling to cool us off going into the next couple hours. Now, now today, we got up high around 88 degrees this morning. We were at 38 degrees, so we actually dropped a couple degrees lower. Definitely well below average for this time of year for morning lows. And then above average, then 82 degrees. And guess what? In 1925, we were at the 97 degree mark. And guess what? Those 90s are on the way to the Contra Valley in the next day. That's tomorrow. But right now, we won't be seeing that. We'll be seeing temperatures drop into the 70s. 73 in Ozona, 82 in Robert Lee, 72 in Ballinger, in Loing, 71 in Melvin. All of us feeling nice, mildly going to tonight with clear conditions. As you see, as we go into Friday morning, we'll turn more partly cloudy. There's cloud cover. You're going to wake up with some cloud cover in the morning when you're putting the kids on the bus. And then as we go into your Friday afternoon, evening, we're definitely going to see a little breaks from that cloud cover going forward with some more cloud cover moving in by Saturday morning. We're going to hang on to some partly cloudy conditions going into the weekend, but the heat is still going to feel blazing across the next couple of days. And tonight, we'll drop down slowly. It's going to take us a while to get into the low 60s, probably getting somewhere near sunrise around 62 degrees, and then start to climb back up for a day where we can see a warm and hot day for some of us. Now, Easter, everyone's excited for that. Well, it's looking nice for the Easter egg hunt. Definitely Easter one is going to be coming to the kids, and he's going to have some nice weather to work with, especially if he comes early. It's 60 degrees in the morning by noon if he's running a little late, 77, and hopefully he's out of there and back home by 4 p.m. because temperatures will be in the 90s. It's going to be a little hot for him, especially with all that fur. But looking at the next daytime highs going into the next couple of days, well, we'll be at 95 degrees around on Friday and Saturday, definitely in the upper 90s. Don't be surprised. Some of us may be a little couple degrees cooler, depending if we see a little less um, cloud cover or a little more, depending on that. But as we go into Monday and Tuesday, where we see our next system could drop us down a couple degrees into the 80s. But overall, looking like a dry forecast going to Friday with some cloud cover coming in thanks to that low pressure system coming through our area, building ahead of our next trough into the weekend. Again, moisture moves through the Contra Valley and through Portions of eastern Texas, from Dallas Fort Worth, Sunday may get a couple storms or showers if you're heading that way. Overall, here, Easter is looking nice. Now, Monday, watching this next system, we're going to have two systems to watch. We're going to see cloud cover building in, and then also a chance to see some moisture, you're hinting here, Tuesday into Wednesday, depending on that. But right now, chances for rain are very slim as we go into the next couple of days. Your Friday looks nice, full of, full of cloud cover with temperatures rising back up into the 90s. Tonight will be a mild night with temperatures in the low 60s, and then the 90s return. That's some good news for some with the beautiful weather.